another little obscure thing about Andrew McCutcheon. We we all know about the furries, right? When the furries are in town, Andrew McCutcheon goes off. So we can't wait. That's coming up. Furries are coming up. Andrew McCutcheon is going to go off. But there's also something else, folks. So there's been four games where Andrew McCutcheon has homered. And something has happened in each one of those games. Do you guys know what it is? I mean, I know Jim does. I know. I don't. Does. Oh, wait, you don't? Wait, do you not know what we're talking about now? I'm, I don't, actually. Is it a furry? <laughs> I was like, I just showed up. <laughs> um, Paul Skeens has started oh, that thing. in every one of those games. Andrew McCutcheon, when Paul Skeens start, again, you guys, the Paul Skeens effect is a real thing. And once again, to prove it, every time Paul Skeens has started, Andrew McCutcheon has homered. And Paul Skeens starts this year. Andrew McCutcheon is 6 for 14 with four home runs, six RBIs. He's batting 429, 529, slugging 1286 with an OPS of 1815. So now that Andrew McCutcheon's luck has turned, now that Andrew McCutcheon is leading off, furries are coming into town here and there. Also, every fifth day, Paul Skeens. When we said how the talk at the end of this year is not if Kutch is returning, but could Kutch be in the Hall of Fame? He's got Paul Skeens on his back. Maybe the move here is to turn Paul Skeens into an opener. I did this once in Out of the Park Baseball, and it worked wildly successfully. Um, I, I just had two starters all year. They each started 81 games. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was wildly and, successful. And they only they only pitched two innings at a time, but they they started every other game. So with this logic, <laughs> you make Paul Skeens an opener, give him two innings every other game. That's 160 innings over the course of a year. Like you're still getting you're, you're still getting enough. That's true. But what it ends up being is at least 81 Andrew McCutcheon home runs. Right. <laughs> at least. Like that is genius. <laughs> at least. like, And that's assuming no homers on non-Paul Skeen starts. But if he homers every Paul Skeen start, that's 81 homers. Then, you know what? Definitely getting into the Hall of Fame. This is how he punches his Hall of Fame ticket. Paul Skeens is just going to have to start every other game. Well, and think about this too, right? Like, we know how good Paul Skeens is. And... If Andrew McCutcheon is doing this as Paul Skeens starts and he's starting every other game, what's well, a best of five or best of seven series for the playoffs? Like you could just imagine, like there's there's no shot that any team playing the Pirates and Paul Skeens starts is going to win. No, Andrew McCutcheon having an 1800 OPS in every single one of those games and guaranteed a home run. So we just said he needs that moment, right? If he's going to the Hall of Fame, he needs the stats, right? Some of the counting stats to pick up. But it needs that defining moment. I mean, not just taking the Pirates into the playoffs, but I mean, winning a World Series with the Pirates, with the help of Paul Skeen starting every other day. He's, he's, he's in the Hall of Fame. He only needs one year. We're talking three? No, Kutch just needs this one year. Paul Skeen's has done miracles on me. <laughs> there you go. So uh, I think this is a great idea. I think we need to tell someone in the Pirates organization about this idea. I think we should be managers. Like if I really do think like the three of us, let's just put us in the dugout. Let us make up the day to day decisions and we'll be fine. Like they will win 85 games. If you let Jim Tyler DiNardo. And obviously, it's going to be Jim and Tyler making the decisions because two out of three overrules, and one person here. Plus, will be in the private chat, about. so I'll never read it. Exactly, and we'll just tell you, "Oh, it's a great idea, buddy. Go down to the, go down the batting cage, have fun." All right, what are we doing in the lineup today, Jim? <laughs> but, but honestly, like we should reach out to them, right? <laughs> 
and I'm, I'm I can't dead believe serious they, when I say this. I can't believe they sure, thought about in this. Sure, someone ingests, but <laughs> I'm legit thinking about like <laughs> telling somebody this. That's like it's a real thing. <laughs> It worked wildly successful in gyms out of the park. <laughs> it worked so well in a video game. Like and, I kind of don't understand. And this four game can. sample, we know what Kutch can do. It's 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 a no, it's a you can even keep Rowdy Telez on the team. You will still win. I just want to say, like, we're we're discussing Jim's prowess as a out of the park baseball GM, and we're talking to Right here, an assistant coach of the year in high school baseball. Like, what better Man. resume do you have? I, I mean, Kutch's personal coach, right exactly. here. Exactly. We got the Kutch's other thing coach. too. Here, here here's okay. the other thing too about this theory is you probably vastly lower your pitcher's arbitration values because they're going to go into arbitration with like eighty starts. But guess what? They're going to be like, oh, they're going to be like, oh, and 30. <laughs> yeah. Right. Paul Skeen has zero doesn't wins. have a win. Like, what are you talking about? This dude has zero wins. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's genius. God, what are we doing? Here, ben Charrington's. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a win win. <laughs> oh. I just want this person to realize. I hope he knows that that we're we're not we're not serious right now. No, we took this thing <laughs> this so guy, far off the rails. <laughs> um, no, but it, it's 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 a pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I I think, but I think there is something to it. Like, there's something to the offense performing better when Paul Skeen starts. Like that, he's a really good pitcher. He he, they can see how good he is and. It just maybe it just changes their mindset a little bit. Like you hey, talked about adrenaline earlier. Like yeah, it's a it's a different mentality. 